Hello dear students, today we are going to learn a new lesson from a Bal Bharti textbook that is lesson number three, 23, Computers. This lesson will give you information about the computers. Let's begin. You have learned the mathematical operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. You can do sums which involve any one or more of these operations. You may also have solved complicated sums which involve all of these operations. You can calculate the answers quickly if you use tables. But sometimes it is necessary to carry out very complicated calculations that involve very large numbers. At such times mistakes are bound to occur in the calculations. Then you waste a lot of time checking and rechecking your answers. How can we avoid these errors and wastage of time? So the first paragraph tells you about all the different calculations which you do that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So if you do these calculations with the help of tables it is quite easy for you. You do it very quickly. But sometimes when the number is too large in these cases, it takes a long time for you to solve those calculations. And then what happens? You are worried about it. If you get the wrong answer, you have to do the rechecking and rechecking again and again and again. So, how can we avoid these errors? And how can we use time wisely? So, what is the answer for this? Let's see ahead. A computer is a machine that is an answer to all these problems. Computers can solve problems and carry out the most difficult calculations with amazing speed and accuracy. Means to get an answer for your question that how can we solve this, you have a wonderful idea and that is a wonderful machine called as computers. It is an answer to all of your problems. Computers can solve any problems with the least time required for them. So most complicated calculations also are done by the computers with amazing speed. Means very very quickly. Computers can do several other things besides carrying out calculations. In fact, there are a very few things that a modern computer is not able to do. So you see almost everything can be done by the computers. And in the era which we are living, these computers have very few things which they are not able to do. That means almost everything can be done by these computers. <clears throat> they not only do calculations, but they have so many other uses. Let's see what are those. Computers have memory. That is, they can store a lot of data and information. They can keep words, pictures and sounds in their memory and give you the information within a fraction of a second when you need it. Now, though we see computer as one thing, but it also has memory. How you have your memory, you store everything into it, the tables, your name, your parents name, all these things are stored into your memory. Same way, computers also have memory and there they store a lot of data, data or information. Now, whenever you need it, you can take it back from them within a fraction of a second means within less time than a second. Computers can process the data or the information according to the instructions given to them. Means whatever you tell to the computers it will process the data and keep it stored into them. A modern computer can follow thousands of instructions within a fraction of a second means the latest computers which have come into the market can follow your instructions within the fraction of a second means very very quickly only the instructions have to be given in a language that the computer understands means you have to tell it to the computer not in english hindi marathi because they don't understand our languages computers have different languages which you have to learn and then you can instruct the computer. Some of the languages of computers are JavaScript, 
HTML, C++ and when you learn the computer languages, you are able to make different kinds of apps, apps which you use in mobile phones. So nowadays, people have started learning computer languages and it is called as coding. So when you instruct a computer, the instructions have to be given in a language that the computers understand. A set of code of instructions written for a computer is known as a program. So the language or the instructions given to the computer, it is called as a program. Writing a computer program is a specialized task. Not anyone can go ahead and write. So writing a computer program is a very specialized task. You have to learn it and then only you are able to write it. A computer on its own does not make any judgments about the instructions given to it. It follows the instructions blindly. That is why the instructions have to be written very, very carefully. The instructions must cover every step involved in an operation. If you miss a step, the computer will not correct it. So you see, computer will not do anything on its own. Whatever things you tell it, it is just going to follow. If you give wrong commands, it is not going to correct itself. That's why when you give commands to a computer, you have to be very, very accurate or very, very correct in giving the instructions to the computer. One has to think carefully to imagine every step involved in any task. Let us see if we can imagine all the steps involved in a simple task. Suppose mother has asked you to buy vegetables. You have to divide this task into smaller ones like going to the green grocer shop, picking up the vegetables you want and paying for them, coming back home. Then you have to subdivide these tasks into smaller ones. Like for example, going to the green grocer shop, take a bag, take the money, start from your house, walk down the street, turn left, walk down, cross the street, enter the shop. So this is how we have to instruct the computer. Very, very small details are to be mentioned. Otherwise, it will follow whatever you have told. If you give wrong commands, it will give a wrong result. Each of these smaller steps or tasks can again be divided further into even smaller tasks. Try to do that choosing any one of the steps above. Thus, we see that computers are smarter than men, but it is men who do the difficult job of making them smart enough. Though the computers are smarter than men, but we are those or the men or people are those who have made these computers. So the next time you play a game or on a computer or watch a video or obtain some information, think of the men who put in so many efforts to make it possible. So whenever you play a game next time, keep in mind that it is men who have made this smart machine. And now you have to find out the answers of some questions. I have told it in the explanation also, but I want you to write it in the comment or you can write it in the notebook. You have to tell me three languages which we learn to code a program for computers. Then you have to tell me who made these computers and you have to tell me five uses of computers so let's meet back in the next class with the question answers of this lesson i hope you must have understood and enjoyed this lesson well see you soon bye bye take care so okay that's all for the day copy the hard words take a new book take a new book write down all the hard words and we will start with the question answers in the next session i hope everything is clear to you by then stay home stay safe complete all your books we'll meet back in the schools as soon as possible have a great day thank you